Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to discuss one more problem on backtracking. Okay, so the problem statement is uh, you'll be given a matrix like this. This is a matrix and along with this matrix two coordinates will also be given. Let's say the coordinate is x1, y1. This is the first coordinate and the second coordinate is let's say it is x2, y2. Okay, so this is coordinate number two. This is first and what you need to do is you need to find out the longest possible path between these two points and here you can see that we have ones and zeros right so here zero is representing that there is a blockage and one is representing that there is no blockage means it is possible uh, to move beyond one but it is impossible to move beyond zero okay so you just need to return the longest possible path between these two points uh, assume that the value of x1 y1 is 0 comma 0 and the value of x2 y2 is let's say it is 2 comma 5 so 0 comma 0 will be here and 2 comma 5 is 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is 2 comma 5 right so you just need to return the longest possible path between these two points that's the problem statement so let's try to solve this problem using dfs plus backtracking correct so what we do in dfs actually let's say we are right this coordinate so we'll check right whether it is possible to move to right direction or not we'll check the top one whether it's possible to move to top similarly for left and similarly for bottom means what we are doing here we are just exploring all the possible directions and trying to find out that whether it is possible to go to these four directions and you can move only in these four directions it is not possible for you to move diagonally okay this path is not possible and using this this is actually called dfs and what is backtracking let's say uh, we have visited this point okay so after visiting this point we just need to backtrack also okay let's see what we do actually uh, we need to create a visited matrix and track each and every point that we are visiting and once this point is visited we need to unvisit that that is called backtracking correct so there are a few conditions here also the first one is let's say we are at this point so it is impossible to move from this point to this, this point okay it is impossible to move from left so this uh, the condition is x should be greater than is equal to 0 similarly y should be greater than is equal to 0 again if the number of rows are m and here we have n columns so x should be smaller than m right and y should be smaller than n i'll show you the code okay so this is the condition for that x should be smaller greater than is equal to zero similarly for y also this is number of rows in the matrix this is number of columns in the matrix right and here we are just checking whether the value of matrix of x y is one or zero so if it is one and that is not visited so in this case we are returning true but if any of these conditions are false so we are returning false here correct and this is the function in which we are just calculating the longest possible distance between these two coordinates so here you can see that these parameters we have passed this is the original matrix this is the coordinate that is x1 y1 here we have x2 y2 and this is just for calculating the distance okay maximum distance and this is the actual distance and this is that that is from line number 27 to line number 30 we are just running the dfs traversal correct means we are trying to uh, explore all the four directions in these four lines 27 to 30 and at line number 32 this is called backtracking means we are unvisiting the coordinate right this is the concept of backtracking and if we have reached the value of x2 y2 this is actually x2 y2 so here we are just calculating the longest possible distance correct so this is the simple function and here we are just calling this function from main passing all these parameters and at line number 54 we are just printing the longest route length so this is uh, the whole function here i've created is valid function for checking whether it is possible to move in either of these four directions correct 
so let's run this so you can see that the longest root length is 22 and here in the code i've specified that the starting point is 00, 0 and the ending point is 5 comma 7 so starting point is this which is 0 comma 0 and ending point is 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 comma 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is the ending point and for these two points the longest possible distance is 22 and this is the code for it okay so that's it for this video uh, thank you so much